Hey you doing guys, Dreadbot905 here. Today I'm going to be looking at some wired and wireless mice and comparing them in terms of poll rate to see if there's actually a difference between the latency of wireless mice and wired mice when it comes to communicating with your computer. Poll rate will be shown in Hertz to counter this post which shows wired mice should be around 1000 Hertz and wireless should be around 500 Hertz which I'll prove is actually wrong. Using this unit converter here it shows that 1000 Hertz should be identical to one millisecond of response time. I'll be taking four mice, two wireless and two wired mice using the mouse rate.exe which you can find here to find out the fastest and average Hertz. All mice will be tested out of the same USB 3.0 port at the front of my PC case. The two wired mice I'll be testing is a Logitech G302 and a Razer Naga MMO mouse. The two wireless mice I'll be testing is a Logitech G700S and a cheap Dick Smith mouse. The first two candidates are the Logitech mice starting with the G700S and then the 302. The G700S scored a fastest of 1411Hz and an average of 1006. The Logitech G302 scored a fastest of 1,332Hz and an average of 1,006 which is identical to the average of the G700S. The Razer Naga scored a fastest of 518 which is surprising because it is a wired mouse and this directly counters the post I showed at the beginning of the video. This mouse also achieved an average of 505Hz. And finally the cheap Dick Smith mouse only achieved a fastest of 126Hz and an average of 124 which isn't surprising. And now for the conclusion. It honestly seems like it doesn't matter which type of mouse you buy, whether it's wireless or wired, it all comes down to the response time. Now that you've seen the testing of the G700S scored almost identical to the G302. Both are wireless and wired mice respectively. In the post at the beginning of the video it shows that all wireless mice should be at 500Hz. Well the Razer Naga is a wired mouse and it scored around that mark so that pretty much proves that it's wrong. So the Dick Smith mouse was an extra wireless mouse and it's kind of obvious that it scored the worst because it's not a gaming mouse in any respect. I highly suggest downloading the software for yourself and posting your mouse's hertz in the comments. I'd love to see what everyone else's mice is actually getting. Anyway guys, I hope this proves the fact that wireless mice can and will work just as well as wired mice. So if you ever get an argument in the comments ever again about why wired mice are so much better than wireless, make sure you send them a link to this video and prove them wrong. Make sure you leave this video a like and subscribe if you want to see more technical videos in the future. See you guys later.